it friends good morning welcome or welcome back to sustainable sierra youtube if this is your first time visiting hello welcome my name is sierra and i'm an american living in england every week i make a video about my family's life here or whatever it is that we have to be doing on the weekly in today's video as you guys can tell by the title of today's video i'm going to be doing another one of my famous lush unboxings we're we'll doing the april subscription box for 2023 which i'm very excited about but um, before we get into that, I just want to quickly address the elephant in the room. Well, if you're not a subscriber or if it's been a while since you visited, you may not know about the elephant in the room, but if you've been here for a while, you probably noticed that my voice sounds a lot different than it usually does. Um, and that is because right now I'm actually COVID positive. So yeah, that was fun. Um, I've talked about this in a different video. I don't know which order these are going to come up, but our family was recently went on a trip to London and then we got back to our home. We weren't feeling great. Turns out we were COVID positive. So that's been an adventure. Also this morning when I was drinking my tea, I noticed the smell was a bit off. So that's fun. Um, but I really want to do this unboxing for you guys anyway. So um, with that being said, any of the scent descriptions that I give you um, when me actually sniffing a product I haven't tried before, please take it with a grain of salt because yeah, my nose might be a little bit confused because of COVID. So yeah. Anyways, without further ado, let's get into this unboxing because even though I can't necessarily smell everything very well, I'm very excited to give this a little sniff. So yeah, let's get into the unboxing. So um, I don't remember everything that was in the vote for this month, but I do really hope that there is the fishy, I can't remember what it was called, but it was like a fishy bubble bar that was in the boat. And, and there's also the yoga bomb bath bomb, which I really hope is in here. I don't know if that's going to happen, but anyways, let's get into the unboxing because I am super excited. So of course, as usual, first items out of the box are the little postcard. Oh, this one's really pretty. On the back, it says, get grounded. Um, with calm and comforting scents. So hopefully this box will be very like cozy, but for spring, like light cozy. I don't know. And then the little descriptions and, you know, as per usual, hundreds of packing peanuts. So much fun. So the first product in the box I already see is one of the ones I was hoping was in here and it is the Yoga Bomb Bath Bomb. Yoga Bomb Bath Bomb, as you can see, is a pretty orange bath bomb that went out of production in... I want to say like 2017 or so. I know that I was in living in the States still back then and I was really sad so I bought like 10 of them from my local store. Uh, but Yoga Bomb Bath Bomb used to be I feel like a different orange color. Maybe it's just because like the one that I have left that's in my closet is really faded. I don't know. But I remember it was more of like a tangerine orange. But anyway, it is scented with, I can't even remember, but it's got like a really lovely yoga scent experience. I know that's really weird, but I know that it has cassia and a couple of other like really lovely spices in there. So I'm going to give it a sniff and see if it smells like I remember. I don't know. Let's see. Ooh, I can smell it just a little bit, you guys. I wish I could smell it more. Like I think the COVID nose for me is really weird. Last time I had COVID, I didn't have the COVID nose and apparently this time I do, but I can definitely smell it's like I can only smell a little bit. It's almost like having one of those really bad colds where like you can kind of smell but you can't, you know what I mean? But anyways, I'm going to look at the little directions here and see what the official ingredients are. Hugo Balm is scented with Cassia Absolute, Hogwood Oil, Sandalwood Oil, and Olivum Resinoid, which is the same thing as Frankincense. So that's why I like it so much. I wish I could smell it a lot more, but it's just a beautiful bath bomb. I love it so much. I think I'm going to actually add it to my background for now. Um, where should I put it? Maybe up here? I don't know. How does it look? Do we like it? Moving on to the next item. It is a shower gel, which, oh gosh, mine is open a little bit. I don't think it's filled. I hope it's okay, but it is the Assassin Shower Gel. Assassin Shower Gel is another one of those retro products I've never had a chance to try before, um, but I'm really excited to smell it, or at least try to smell it. Um, but the ingredients on the bottle are fresh chicory infusion, fresh rosemary infusion, cypress oil, Sicilian lemon oil, Siberian fernil, oak mock absolute, and dark sumac and patchouli oil. So this is going to be like a very like earthy, like foresty scent, probably similar to the um foresty bath bomb that i mentioned in the last video but let's open it up and give it a smell if it has a smell to me i don't know but i hope it has a smell it's got a very dark like foresty green color i don't know if you guys can oh it's filling whoops okay well now you guys can definitely see what color it is the only thing that i smell right now is cypress which it definitely for right now smells really good um 
I'm sure it would smell a lot better if I could actually smell it like in its full force, but yeah, I think this is something I would like, um, even if I didn't have COVID nose, so that's good. Next thing in the box is a Black Pot Clear Pot product. It's like one of these guys, and it is the Skinny Dipped Buttercream. Interesting. Aren't buttercreams usually solids that you like? Like, you guys remember the last one? There was like the, the pink one that was in there. I don't know. Let's check it out. So I'm going to open it up and give it a smell. See what it's like. I'm guessing it's going to smell like, I don't know, buttercream. I have really no idea. I've never tried it before. So let's see. It's like a, just like a white, almost like a lotion. Yeah, I can't smell this at all. But um, it is, I think, the same as the salad buttercreams. You have to fact check me on that because I've never used one in the pot before. But the um, soft regular buttercream is like a soap. It's just like a really rich soap. And so I think this is just like a more like um, creamy version of that. But according to the directions, it says, use this kind of like a soft soap. Scoop a handful and smooth all over the skin before rinsing. You'll feel softer that even in mere moments. So I feel like this is almost kind of like, um, cause of the texture of this, um, and like the, the use, I'm gonna guess it's kind of like a body conditioner, except it's a soaping body conditioner. Does that even make sense? It's like, you know, a cleansing body conditioner. Body conditioners usually just like add moisture to your skin, but sounds like something I'm gonna really enjoy because I have such dry skin almost all the time. But the ingredients in this one are a lot of oils. So it's got like rapeseed oil, coconut oil, glycerin, um, aloe vera gel, but then for the scent it is almond oil, fair trade organic coconut butter, creamed coconut, clary sage oil, clove bud oil, palm rosa, ylang ylang oil, and that's it. So interesting. Um, I really have no idea if I'm even going to enjoy this scent because right now it doesn't really smell like anything, but the idea of the product I think is really good. So I'm excited to give it a try. Hopefully the second time I use it, it will smell a little bit better. We'll see. Okay, now moving on to the next item is, oh, it appears to be a soap. And it looks kind of like um, a shampoo bar. Maybe it is a shampoo bar. It looks like this. And it is the, I don't know what it's called, the ginger root soap. Oh, and it's really moisturizing already. I can tell because it's melting all over my fingers, but I'm going to give it a sniff and then set it down. Oh, I really like that. I can smell it. Guys, it smells like ginger beer to me. Which if it smells the same after COVID, I am going to be really excited because I love ginger beer. Oh, I can't stop smelling it. Those of you guys who have had COVID, let me know. Like, are there certain scents when you have COVID that you can smell and some that you can't? Like, for example, this morning I had juice with ginger in it and I could definitely taste the ginger. But I couldn't taste the orange, which was really weird. I don't know. But, yeah, I really like that. Okay. Um, the ingredients in this guy are, I'm going to guess, lots and lots of ginger. It definitely looks like there's shaved ginger inside of it, so I'm going to take a wild guess that those are in there, but um, according to here, it is full of oils, which is why it's so melty and moisturizing. Fresh ginger root, aloe extract, gardenia extract, and that is it. So it is straight up lots and lots of ginger. It also has ginger oil, by the way. I don't know if I mentioned that, but yeah. Amazing. It's going to be really nice for the spring, because I feel like ginger... Like, I know it's like a warm spice, or at least people think that it's warm, but I don't know. I like it all year round, because I think of it like being like a tropical. I don't know. But anyways, moving on to the last and the final product, which I see it, and I hope it is. It is one of the products that I wanted. It is the Passan de Abril Bubble Bar. As you guys know, I'm not a big bubble bar fan, only because I feel like I'm lazy, and I don't like to spend a lot of time crumpling it, and so when I do buy a bubble bar, like, it's definitely, like something that I'm excited about, but this one is one of my favorite bubble bars. I actually have still, I think, just like the nose or the tail left from the last time I had one, which they came out for, I think, Mother's Day, possibly Easter, definitely one of the spring collections, I would say probably six years ago, um, and that's way before we moved to Japan, so I love it. It's a really beautiful scent. I think that it is a little bit orangey and a little bit cinnamony. I definitely love cinnamon in here, so let's give it a smell and see what it smells like today. Ooh, I think it is the same scent, but for right now, to me, it doesn't really smell as strong for obvious reasons, but I think it's the same scent. We'll see. But isn't it cute? It's so cute. Um, I don't actually know the story behind it. I know the Pisson de Avril is part of the spring um, festivals in France. So anyway, um, let's look at the official ingredients for Pisson de Avril are black pepper oil, cinnamon leaf oil, 
Oak Block Absolute and Neroli Oil, which I really like most of those things. And well, actually I like all of those things. That's probably why I really love this product. So yeah, um, very exciting. I think that's everything that was in the box. It's empty. So yeah, I guess that means it's goodbye for now. My favorite product in the box that I can smell is probably the Pisanda Evro, but I also know I really love Yoga Balm. So um, probably gonna say that's my favorite, but I can't smell it right now. But anyways, and then my least favorite product, I don't know if I have one. Maybe the shower gel, just because I've never tried it before. Or maybe the skinny dip. I don't know. Probably the shower gel, but it smells really good. So yeah, I definitely satisfied with this box. I would give it probably in my current state of nose like a 6 out of 10, just because I feel like nothing really smells that much. But um, because I know better than I've had some of these products before, and I know what the scents are going to be like after I get my sense of smell completely back, I'm going to give this box like a 9 out of 10. So awesome job, Lush Kitchen. Very happy with it. So um, yeah, I guess that's it. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please let me know in the comment section um, by letting me know your favorite product in the box. Or if you didn't get the box, which product would be your favorite in the box? Subscribe before you leave, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.